Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. This weekend, I went all the way to San Antonio, Texas to visit some friends. And while I was there, we made a pit stop at Busey's Flea Market because nothing says Texas like a giant armadillo. And while I was there, I scored some amazing My Little Pony swag. I found so much My Little Pony. I'm really excited to share everything with you guys. One seller had all these bags of vintage ponies for just three bucks. So three ponies, three dollars, that's one dollar each. I got a total of five bags and I walked away so happy. This first pony is April mist she's a g3 pony all the way from 2005 her hair is really nice it's white and it has some iridescent in it but the hair is really matted and i'm going to have to brush it and wash it and really bring that back and restore it the cutie mark is adorable it's a little jewel that's embedded in her flank this next one is Valenshy. so she's actually a valentine's day pony again another g three pony i love the different hair colors on her we got three shades of pink again hair's a little messed up and by a little i mean a lot but i'm gonna go ahead and restore all these ponies this next one is gem blossom i really like these embedded gems in the cutie marks really really neat and all these are from like 2002 to 2000 like five ish in the next bag, I got this one with a little, looks like a little ukulele or something, little guitar. And this is Sweet Song. She's purple, a little bit of discoloration on the back, but it's hidden by her hair. And I think we all recognize this pony by her cutie mark. This is a vintage G3 Pinkie Pie. Love her hair super cute again she is dirty but i'm gonna go ahead and restore all of these ponies probably take off all these marks with some acetone or try to take it off with soap and water see if that works and this is bebop really cute has a little harp on her flank kind of looks like lyra heartstrings doesn't she even has the same color body different color hair though and I really like the little iridescence in the hair. It's just really, really pretty. And next up is, who is this? Oh, it's Piccolo. So it's a music pony. Light pink hair and a, you know, like a medium baby blue body. And all of these G3 ponies have like an iridescent finish to the body so it's kind of shiny and let's see if you guys recognize this pony by their cutie mark and their shoes this is scootaloo i really like the way that they painted on her little tennies they are so so adorable and this is petal blossom i like the color of this one you can really see that metallic finish so she's like a deep deep gray purple with a silver like metallic finish really pretty her hair is super matted it's gonna take me a while to get that all brushed through I also found Island Rainbow and seriously this cutie mark I just want to go on vacation inside the cutie mark super pretty I love the orange with like the purpley pink hair this particular pony does have a little ponytail so I'm gonna carefully cut that off so that way I'm not taking off too much of the little iridescent strands next up is really cool check out this cutie mark it is like legit an entire drawing of a scooter and this is scooter sprite i love the colors on this one like honestly the main colors are so pretty blue white and purple with a light purple body so so pretty next up is yester daisy so she's like a super dull purple and her hair is weird because the pink parts of her hair are really shiny but the white hair is a matte finish so i don't really like this pony i don't like the mixture of matte and shiny and her tail, but her tail is actually in really good condition. It's still curled and everything. 
And this is Cherry Blossom, gorgeous shade of like pink purple here. I really like it, love the hair. I'm loving these three colored hairs. They are so pretty. This mane is absolutely fabulous. This hair isn't in too bad of a condition. It's actually pretty decent considering, you know, it's over 12 years old. And this one's really exciting. It is the only Pegasus pony that I got at the flea market. And this is Morning Monarch. I love her. She is so pretty. I love that her wings have like a pearl finish to it. I love the shades of her hair it's just it really needs to be combed out and conditioned so i can get it looking you know as nice as possible super super cute pony and let's see if you guys can recognize this pony by the cutie mark this is fluttershy so this g3 fluttershy honestly looks nothing like the current fluttershy she doesn't even have the same color hair anymore, but this one's really neat because it even has the plastic in the hair still. So it's almost like this pony was never played with and the tail is still tied together too. So really neat. So there's a vintage Fluttershy. And those were all of the vintage ponies I found from that particular seller. And this pony, my friend actually found me this one and she bought it for me for free. So I got it for free, but she paid three bucks, which I thought was a really, really good deal. So this is a modern My Little Pony. This is Princess Cadence. And I think that this is from the um, set where she gets married and she talks. How cool is that? So this pony's really neat. Her hair does need to be brushed through. And the next thing that I found at the flea market was my favorite find of the entire day, you guys. Check this out. It is a vintage My Little Pony carrying case. And that is Rainbow Dash right on the front there. It is a little dirty, so I'm going to use some fabric cleaner to clean it up. And if you look really closely on the front, it looks like whoever owned this previously took a stamp and just stamped all over the eye and the cutie mark and the hoof. I don't know if that's gonna come out. I'm really hoping that it does, but it might not. Um, so this was all sold as a set. And let's take a look at what's inside because that's the most exciting part. Oh my gosh. And do you know how much I paid for this case and all these ponies all together? The entire thing was only five dollars i was mind blown when the lady said she wanted five dollars for all of them i picked that up so fast i was so excited this completely made my day this first pony is tula rula and i really like her hair it's almost like rainbow dash but lighter colors really neat and this is another pinkie pie so this one's really neat. It actually says Pinkie Pie going up her leg. I think that this was like a limited edition, like birthday edition or something like that. Not 100% sure. The hair is frizzy, but it's not matted. So this one will be easy to fix the hair on. And there's like tons of these little McDonald's ponies. So these are vintage McDonald's ponies. This is Minto. His mane has been trimmed off. I may or may not um, reroute that pony. I don't know. And next up is my least favorite 
ponies ever the generation 3.5 they're just so weird like look at the head it reminds me of those my moji squishies that you can get right now but it just looks really weird on a body the body shape is off i mean I can tell it's rarity, but it's not my favorite. I honestly prefer the G4 over the 3.5. Just I don't know. They're just they're just kind of weird looking to me. I don't know about you guys. If you like it, that's cool. But me personally, I don't. Next up is Rarity, and this is again another McDonald's pony. It has a little hanger at the top, so you can clip it on something, and then you can clip it to your bag or your purse or your backpack. And this is another minty, but this one actually has his hair, but it's so frizzy. It might be easier to just reroute it if you wanted a minto for your collection. And this is another Pinkie Pie. So this is the second Pinkie Pie out of the little case. And this is a McDonald's pony. And let's see what else is in here. It is Applejack. Hey, Applejack. So um, another one. This is a McDonald's figurine. So this came in the Happy Meals for McDonald's. Um, but this one is in pretty good condition. Next up is another Tula Rula. So I got the real full-size Tula Rula. And this is the small McDonald's size one. Really frizzy hair here. Hopefully with some conditioner and some brushing, I can get that all nice and straight. Who is this? Okay, this is another one of those really weird G 3.5 ponies. This is Twilight Sparkle. Again, body shape, super funky, not my favorite. Who else is in here? What is this? I don't even think this is... Nope, this is... This is not even a real pony, so I got one fake pony. This thing's weird. Oh, it's so squishy like a dog toy. So one fakie out of all of these. And here is Fluttershy. Again, a McDonald's pony. But these are really neat. And I've, I've actually got um, several of these McDonald's ponies through my P.O. box. So thank you to everybody that has sent me one i have them all in my my little pony collection and here's a modern princess twilight sparkle but why doesn't she have wings this one's weird too this is a mcdonald's pony a pinkie pie mcdonald's pony and this one's weird because pinkie pie's hair is really short well i think pinkie pie's hair is kind of short and her cutie marks a little bit scratched but you know, if you're trying to complete your collection and you're getting them for such a good deal, you know, I wouldn't complain. And this is Lily Blossom. Again, a McDonald's one with a little hanger at the top. Pretty good condition. Oh, and there's only two left in this entire case. This one, oh my gosh, this one is so cool. This is probably like my favorite one. Look at this ombre detail. It goes from orange to yellow. This is Morning Glory. That cutie mark is so intricate. He doesn't have any hair. And I might actually reroute this one just because I love the colors so, so much. And next up, again, no hair on this one. This is Sunrise Song. Really cute little bird cutie mark there. I think I might reroute this one too because I think it's super cute, just like Morning Glory. So if you want to see me reroute one of these vintage G3 ponies, let me know down in the comments below. And here is my entire haul of ponies from yesterday. I got a total of... 30 my little pony figurines and the majority of them are vintage for just 20 dollars and i also got the vintage my little pony carrying case and i even got one fake my little pony doll so i think that that is just a steal and my friend also got me that three dollar princess cadence so that's my haul which one is your favorite pony let me know down in the comments below Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye. You can follow me online. To get the latest news and updates, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Collector. 
Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can mail it to Manda Panda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.